we met Your eyes so blue, mere person through I can't forget that Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mornings! How have you been? I hope you all have been taking good care of yourselves We all know about the coronavirus pandemic now um, It's no longer a joke, it's no longer all something that affects just one country It's worldwide, it's global So guys, I will encourage you all to take good care of yourselves Wash your hands often stay safe avoid social gatherings you know um in the united states for instance there have been over eight thousand cases of coronavirus confirmed over 850 deaths not to talk of you know countries like uh, south korea china japan the united kingdom you know so many countries are affected including nigeria so um i would just encourage everyone of us to try as much as possible to um you know stay at home if possible you don't have to go to church if your church i'm, I'm sure that most churches now you know give um their uh, congregation the option to watch online so you can watch your church services online avoid attending parties don't go to the beach you know just stay at home and keep yourself safe just try to be safe we don't want you know people added to this data of those who are dying or those who are you know contracting this virus so guys please just try to keep yourselves safe in the season you know everyone is cherished every life is loved so to today's topic we'll be talking about something that I call help I talk too much yeah you, we all have an idea of what I'm gonna talk to us about and you know with this topic so um, first thing it's this topic or this video is not to criticize anyone who talks too much but it's just an avenue for me to you know help those of us who have already identified or realized that we talk too much um, yeah so that we can know how to deal with people and how we can you know try to tone things down going forward so there is a term used to describe this um, issue of talking too much. It's called talkaholism. So um, according to the defi a definition that I have found online, talkaholism is defined as talking that goes beyond the bounds of what is considered to be socially acceptable. So studies have also shown that most people who are talkaholics are aware of the fact that they talk too much, but they're actually unable to stop or do not see it as a problem. So um you know how some of us are always so excited when we see family friends we see you know old colleagues we see old classmates and then when we see them nothing else occurs to us we just go ahead and talk and talk and talk about everything that has happened to us in the, in the past so let me give you an example when i was a kid i used to be a talker old yes you know um my older brother attended a boarding school I was about six or seven years old there about yeah and i remember clearly so whenever my brother came back from school on holiday you know what i used to do then i would tell him everything that happened right from the moment he stepped out of the house to go to school to the minutes before he arrived home so i would tell him everything from what mommy told daddy from what daddy told mommy from you know what my sisters did what my brothers did you know i would just tell him everything non-stop but thank God that has changed now because as I grew older, you know, things changed. Even now, people even beg me to talk sometimes. <laughs> so, um, what I want to say to us today is that in order for us to help ourselves go going forward, especially for those of us who know that we talk a lot, for those of us who know we talk a lot, there are some things, ideas I'm going to share with us today, especially if you desire to talk less. You can't force anyone. To stop talking too much but for those of us who have already realized that we have this um i won't call it a problem but we know that we talk too much you know we can actually follow the steps and i and i believe that with um you know every effort made things would actually change for us so uh, the first thing i want to say is that we need to only speak when it is important when it is important so before you speak think about the fact that uh think of the think of this if what you are going to say is not going to add value if it is not important if it is not necessary why say it why so just try to avoid it so um i've actually realized that um this problem is actually more common among students i don't know students or i don't know whether it's just students who are young or teenagers or adults i don't know but i've just realized that a number of students fall into this category so for instance a professor comes to class and then asks you 
a simple question that I can be that can be answered with just a, a simple one line answer and you just hear the person go on and on and on and on and on and before you know it everybody just tunes out like what is this person saying everybody just get tired some even get irritated and some just with their facial expression you already know that they are done they are just tired of you know, you talking so um if what you're going to say is not important just don't say it if it does not go, if it's not going to add value do not say it secondly avoid speaking to fill empty space so the best way i can explain this is to use an example so imagine you had a friend's party and um you know um the party is about coming to an end and it's just you and one other stranger left in the room maybe um the celebrant has gone out and maybe seen other people off and it's just you and one other stranger in the living room and then just because you talk too much you can't afford to allow the silence to just remain the way it is like you feel like oh, this room is just quiet like i just need to talk i just need to talk to this guy i just need to talk to this girl funny enough the person the stranger who is in the room with you might not even feel like talking but because you talk too much you just feel the need to fill that empty space you feel the need to fill that vacuum you feel the need to kill the silence you don't need to kill the silence sometimes you just need to keep quiet you just need to keep to yourself you don't need to you don't don't put yourself under any obligation to fill that empty space talk less so another point is that we need to think about our words carefully so what i have actually observed in um reality is that people who talk too much do not actually filter their words they don't process their words they, they don't think sometimes about their words before they say them so they just talk the you know as the words come to them they just say it out so if you actually take time to filter your words to process and think through what you want to say you will realize that you talk less so another way to prevent ourselves from talking too much is for us to listen more listen more so i mean this is just like an avenue for you not to talk too much so try sometimes to listen to people hear what people have to say you know try to gain more knowledge from people try to learn from people don't feel like you have an obligation to talk all the time or to share with people all the time listen more and then you see that you talk less then i've also realized that people who talk much are sometimes people who are not prepared um for uh, the conversation they're about to have or people are actually anxious maybe you're in a class 13 you want to answer questions uh, but you don't you're not prepared you don't have your words you don't have your answers together then you know someone just calls on you to answer a question or you just feel the urge to answer questions in class but you're not prepared you don't process your answers you don't process your thoughts before you know it you veer off topic off topic and you talk unnecessarily you just say things that are not even relevant to the topic of discussion so before you talk if possible always don't um never be anxious and be prepared then one very important thing to know is that need to you need to know yourself you need to know the reason why you talk too much so some people actually talk too much because of something much because they feel like when they're in a gathering they need to let people know who they are they need to show to show people that they are a people person they need to let people know that oh they are aware of their environment they, went, they know everything that is going on they know everything about the topic of the discussion this actually signifies that there is some personality insecurity going on underneath so that is why some of these people talk too much so before you can actually deal with your own issue of talking too much you need to deal with the underlying reasons why you talk too much so personality issues deal with that and then you say that you are able to address your issues of talking too much then lastly i'm going to say that silence is a gift silence is a gift sometimes you just have to leave things to other people let other people talk let other people express themselves um themselves then remind yourself that it's okay to sit in silence and and listen sometimes it's actually okay to sit in silence you don't have to talk always so um knowing that silence is a gift and also paying attention to other people listening more to other people we actually help you to talk less so in conclusion, I'm going to say to us that um, speaking less that does not mean you shouldn't express yourself. Please express yourself as often as possible, but make sure that uh, whatever you want to say is important, it's something of value, and if you have something that is an issue of great concern, please voice it out, speak up. The point is for you to know what is valuable to share. So 
what I'm going to say in closing is that if you fail to work on yourself, people will constantly tune out when you're talking and you, you won't like that. You know, you won't like a situation where you're in a gathering, you're sharing your opinion, you're sharing your ideas, and you realize that people are, you know, on their phones, people are looking at the other side, people are not looking at you, people are not paying attention. You won't like that. So try as much as possible to work on yourself. Everybody has one flaw or the other, so this might be your flaw, but you can use it to your own best advantage. So that's all I have for you guys this week on mornings i'll see you next time bye love you